Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're doing our longer readings from February 19th to March 20th for my Aquariuses. Hello, my Aquariuses. So, longer readings means that I use four decks. I use my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards for my main message. Then I move on to my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards, kind of ask, you know, kind of fill in some, ga some gaps. <laughs> then I ask for advice from my Osha Zen Tarot cards, and then I finish with my Radley Valentine Archangel Power Tarot cards. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest, okay? Okay. A subscriber... Um, recommended, asked if I would do a re, do readings on the sign in the season. So that's what we're doing. We are doing readings now for my Aquariuses in Pisces season. So we'll see how this works out. It's, I actually kind of like it. So, you know, that that's where we're going with this. So to, in order for you to know a little bit more what's going on, let me go over here and we'll talk about what's going on in Pisces season. Now, Pisces season starts on February 19th. It ends March 20th when Aries season comes. Pisces is the end of the astrological year. Aries starts the new year. We do have to go a couple of days beforehand, though, to, to February 17th when Mercury goes retrograde. Mercury goes retrograde three times, at least three times a year. And, you know, this is where people are all like, Mercury's retrograde, run, run, run. And no, it's really, you don't really have to worry about that so much. I do agree it is a time when you don't want to buy electronics. It is a time where communications, you want to be really, really clear with your communications. That is a time where things kind of slow up a little bit so that you can be very, very clear. A lot. Another thing about Mercury retrograde is that People from the past come into your present. And sometimes it's like, I've been wanting you out. Please don't come back. And sometimes it's like, oh, I do want to talk to you. It's very nice to hear from you. But when I say about people, though, it could be a job, an old job that comes back. It could be an old intimate relationship. It's you know one of those relationships that come back. Sometimes it's about family that comes back. Now, the other thing about this, though, like I said, this will be, if I didn't, this will be um, retro until March 10th when it goes direct. The thing about retro, um, when things go retrograde, when planets go retrograde, there is generally a 14-day window before and after it does this, and we call that the shadow. So there is the shadow of Mercury beforehand and the shadow after. It's kind of like um, retrograde light. I look at Mercury, though, retrograde, as the universe trying to make things right again, trying to put things back into balance. Many times over, and I look at it this way, and it has happened. You know, yes, I have started a job in Mercury retrograde only to be, only to have the office closed a few days after Mercury goes direct. I've had that happen. But with that job, it provided me blessings. So, you know, even, you know, even afterwards. So I don't look at it as a total negative, okay? Do not be afraid of it. So I told you, February 17th, Mercury goes retrograde. February 19th, Pisces season. February 23rd, new moon in Pisces. Full moon to new moon, get rid of it, it's waning. New moon to full moon, which will be then March 9th. It's waxing, it's getting bigger. So request. The full moon will be in Virgo, Virgo's earth energy, and that will help to stabilize a lot of this Mercury retrograde. Then Mercury goes direct on the 10th, but we do have that 14-day window still. And then on March 20th, it airy season begins, and we've discussed that too. Now, I have three cards face down. I was shuffling as we were talking. Face down. Second and third are reversed. Remember, I'm an intuitive channeler, so what that means is I open myself up to my higher power spirit, and whatever the message that needs to come out, comes out. The second and third card are reversed, and that means that it's got a stronger message for you, my Aquariuses. So let's see. So what's going to be happening for my Aquariuses during 
Pisces season. Here we go. First card up. The Queen of Earth. Earth energy. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Solid energy. Could be something, someone you can touch. Of course, could be your home. But this is about, you know, I feel like this is kind of that Empress type of energy. This is that energy that's giving to you. Um, Earth energy is a lot, is usually about money, a money solid, and it's also, you know, job. Are you getting a new job? Are you starting a new job? Have you started this new job? Are you getting your promotion? Something about, are you getting even, if you are leaving a job, if you're retiring from a job, are you getting a really good package from that job? Because I feel like whatever this is, this is about the universe giving you back some money. I feel like this, the universe is giving you, is saying to you, you know, it, it, and I don't, shouldn't say give you, because if you are working, which I do think this is coming from a job, you are earning your money. But you're earning it in a more gentler way than you have been for a while. I don't understand what, you know, you, you can tell me that a little bit more. So you're earning it in a way that um, is more appreciated, okay? Okay, so the Queen of Earth is thoughtful, creative, warm, and sensible. So think about that full moon in Virgo, too. That's Earth energy. So this could be something around that full moon on the 9th. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. Don't, you know, so part of that is this is a new job, if this is a new project, if this is a new, in, you know, environment for you in order for you to receive this money. Cut yourself some slack. Give yourself a learning curve. But at the same time, you know, and this comes down to the golden rule, treat others as you would like to be treated too. At the same time, again, Make sure they're treating you that way, too. Okay. This card is reversed. Let's see what we have here. The Five of Earth. So here we go. You know, whatever this is, the universe is giving you. The universe is saying, let me provide for you. The universe is saying, you know, don't, you know, hey, you know, um, you know, deal with your challenges. But at the same time, I am providing for you. But then the Five of Earth comes, and Fives is about some changes. But Fives can be positive changes also. Um, it could be negative, it could be neutral, but change is not necessarily easy. So is there some sort of a change going on in your job, in your money? You know, it, did you change jobs? And maybe what happened was maybe you are at a, at a place where you are living paycheck to paycheck to paycheck. And maybe you started your job and you found out there's going to be three to four weeks before you get that first paycheck. It will come in. It's just a matter of budgeting. Um... You know, just, just just be a little bit aware of your money situation now so that you have a little bit more when that comes in. But this is kind of, you know, and it could also be that you're worried about taking this job. Maybe you're worried about moving on from this job and, you know, because the other job's been so secure, okay? And maybe the maybe what they're offering you isn't quite what you've been wanting. It's okay to negotiate. It is okay to negotiate. So fear surrounding money. The wisdom to accept help from others. Uncertain self-employment. Your next card is, this one is your Ace of Air. Air energy is your energy, okay? It's also Libra and Gemini energy. It's your hearing news. It's your, um, you know, your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth. That's that download. But it could, it's a lot of this is hearing news. And Aces are new beginnings, so this is, again, there's some changes going on in your work situation with your queen and your five of earth. It might be a little bit, you know, you might, you might be a little bit um, trepidatious. Okay, that's the word coming to me. You might feel a little bit of worry and you might feel a little bit of, you know, uh, what do I do here? Do I, do I take this new job? Well, you know, you're, you're the one that's going to have to answer that question. Okay, you have to answer that. I can't make that answer for you. I can tell you that the energies are positive for new beginnings, new starts. But even should you decide, should you decide not to take a different job and you continue, it then what happens a lot of times with that is you rededicate yourself to what you're doing. So in a way, that becomes a new, you know, new job. Okay, a new opportunity for you. But the aces, beginnings, new beginnings, your mindset, um, you know, there, there's some changes. It kind of worries you a little bit because you don't necessarily, my Aquarius is you're pretty much, 
um, you know, you, 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 you can get into a job and stay there for quite a long time, for quite a long time. And so if you're thinking of changing your job, it, it is really, really, um, you know, it's, it's kind of, it, it's hard on you. It's hard on you. So my eight, the ace of errors, air, brilliant new ideas and inspiration, seeing the truth of a situation, a challenging beginning. So something's new, something new is going to start, but it is challenging. It is challenging. So be, you know, be, uh, you know, I, huh. You know, be certain of what you're doing. Be, you know, go go for what you want. Um, you know, there's changes, changes in your money, changes in your, um, you know, in your, in your, in what you're doing. So, so look for those. Okay, let's go on. My John Holland. Any, what can you clarify about this? I need some clarification here for my Aquariuses. One, two, and three. Three cards, face down. Let's see what we have here. Rest and rejuvenate. Okay, so get ready for it. Get ready, whatever this is, whatever this change is. You do need to, you know, you do need to take, I, I, would, I would suggest, if it's possible, taking a couple of days off, and that might be where there's that lag in that pay schedule a little bit. If you can, take some of that, take a couple of days off before these changes happen. Not quite sure if there's other changes happening. Remember, relationships per se, you know, are you know your job, career, work, intimate, personal, inter, um, interpersonal, or family. So maybe maybe there's even there could be a change in an intimate relationship. So you do need a little bit of space in between before you get into that new relationship. Okay, okay. Your next card here: foundation and achievements. You know your stuff. You know your stuff. Whatever this is that you're going into, whatever this new beginning is, this challenging beginning, whatever this, you know, even though you might be a little bit worried in that earth energy sense, you know your stuff. You have a good foundation. You know your stuff. You're not selling people a, a bill of go goods. You should be confident in what you bring to the table. You should be, you know, and if this is an intimate relationship too, you should have a lot of confidence in that that person is lucky to have you in the, their in their in their um, you know their atmosphere. Okay, okay. Foundation and achievements and achievements are also not only will you know your stuff, you will also benefit and thrive from it. So with the foundation and achievements, I'm also feeling like I don't understand why you have a with you know the worry about the money because it seems like whatever you're going into will bring you those achievements. Okay, next card up, reversed, and that is triumph. Okay, so it's like whatever this is you're going into, whatever this new beginning is, whatever this new start is, and it doesn't have to be a different job. It could be, a, you know, it could just be something in, internally where you're already working. I tend to go towards jobs, so use that as your example, but whatever this is, you know, between Taking a little time, resting a little bit, getting yourself recuperated. Um, you know, also, you know, I'm always saying reach out to your higher power. But that foundation and achievements means you bring your, you bring, you bring, you know your stuff. You bring the experience. You bring the expertise. And because of that, I think that they, you know, if you are worried about money, you definitely negotiate and you talk about them. You talk to them and say, this is what I want. Or... You know, somebody asked me recently, you know, to like, you know, somebody, or I've had this at a job offer where they say to me, and what are you looking for? And I just responded back, I don't know what is the, what is the pay scale for this position? And so when they told me, I said, I want the top. Okay. So those are, that's how you negotiate a little bit. Okay. Because sometimes you can say something and they'll, and it's like, oh, sure. We love to give you that. And it could be lower. Okay, so negotiate, ask them, what is the pay scale for this position? And when they give you that number, go towards that top because you deserve it. You, I, and when I say you deserve it, it's not because, you know, um, that we're so miraculous. It's just that you bring an expertise to what you're doing. Okay, and it's trying, you know, this is, whatever this is going to happen, whatever's going, whatever this new start is for you within Pisces season, you do it well, you are triumphant. Look at him. 
Okay, you are triumphant in it. Okay, now let's go on. Any words of advice from my Osha Zen Tarot cards? So let's see, from my Aquariuses. So yeah, I mean, you know, sometimes there's not like real big, big changes per se, but this does seem like there is this change. I am feeling that, you know, my goodness, my Aquariuses, I don't know. Again, I feel people could be retiring. Okay, there's this card just kind of flipped out a little bit. People could be retiring, could be, or you know, and and I, I don't mean that you're, you know, I don't mean that you're, in, you know, a senior retiring. It's just that you could be saying, I'm going to change my career. Um, I want to try something different. Um, you know, I've worked really hard, you know, gotten a nest egg, but it doesn't mean that you have a nest egg either. I'm not saying that either. But it's like, you know, I, I feel like this is a time for my Aquariuses to, you know, again, I've been saying this, you know, make sure your resume, but again, what is your passion? What, what, what floats your boat? What wakes you up in the morning? Because this, this energy seems like this could take you, this could take you somewhere with a long, you know, I kind of feel that fluid type of energy. So when I say floats your boat, it kind of like, the water energy of Pisces can bring you into that new year of Aries with a strong passion. Okay, your first card. So words of advice from Osha Zen is patience. Okay, so we have the moon. We have this pregnant woman. You have to be patient. You have to wait for the delivery. You have to wait for the birth, the cycles of the moon, you know, okay. You know, we have the new moon on the 23rd. We have the full moon on the 9th. A lot of things are related back to this moon, to the moon cycles. And this is kind of, again, for you, my Aquarius, is, you know, a lot of things. I've been feeling a lot for different energies around that Virgo moon when it kind of gets back to that earthier place. But again, you need to, you need to get recoup re, and you need to, you know, when it says rest and rejuvenate, you know, there's, there, there's a little bit of... Um, I do feel like you do, you're going to have that if you are changing jobs, there can be a little bit, a couple of days of separation between that. So just wait it out. Okay, your next card is ah, this is reversed. So this is the miser. So what are you holding on to? What are you holding on to, my Aquariuses? Are you holding on to something? You know, I. So many of my Aquariuses say they want to move on, they want something, but yet they don't want to give up something. So what is it? Figure that out. I'm not going to tell you that you should give that up. I, you know, but the thing is that sometimes when you're holding on to something really tight, it's actually holding on to you. Okay? Okay, next card. Here we go. Again, reversed. Postponement. So this is, again, there could be a little bit of a lag time before whatever this new start is, this challenging beginning is, because you know but the thing is it will be coming so don't don't get yourself don't get yourself too upset about it don't get yourself you know like in in many ways a lot of this is gray but then when they really look into the picture look into the future there is color there so don't let yourself get too emotionally drained this is just all part of this mercury retrograde okay okay i know i know it's, it's going to affect some signs differently. Um, so, it, you know, in many ways, it's like, let's get started, but then let's hold off. Let's get started. Let's hold off. And I, my one worry is that you might have left a job um, maybe a little bit too soon, and they're holding off on this new job, and you're like, well, how am I going to live? So, you know, and, and again, I'm not saying that that's totally what it is. I'm using that as an example because I feel like there's a gap. I feel like there's a gap. Okay, and, and the fact you're getting patience, you're getting postponement, but it does work out because you get triumph, okay? You get ace of air, you get the queen of earth that's saying it's going to work out fine for you. So, you know, all of these things are, you know, positive energies for you. Okay, three cards face down, second and third are reversed. So the first card we have is the four of Raphael. Water energy, emotional energy, fluid. Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer energy. And this is seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. So, you know, it, there's, you know, 
If we go back to this postponement, you know, we go back to that miser, you know, holding on. Is it, are you holding on to something or is it holding on to you? This postponement, this is, you know, this kind of is like, they're, it's seeing things in gray when there's color beyond, you know, so just, just be aware of your own emotions with this. Next card reversed, here we go. The page of Gabriel. Gabriel is fire energy. Airy. So this so so this transition could manifest could manifest itself in Aries per se, but you could be doing all your legwork now. Um, but this is Aries, Leo, and it's also um, Sagittarius. But we did have that full moon in Leo, so things are, things are moving for you. But I feel like there's that little gap. There's this gap. Okay, but. Page of Gabriel is energetic, brave, optimistic, and playful. Follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge. Opportunities for excitement and adventures. Things are moving on for you. Okay, here we go. Last card, and this is reversed. Here we go. Okay. Four of Ariel. Ariel is Earth energy again. And there's a little bit of reciprocity here. So your energies are really... Your energies are kind of like all, a little bit all over the place right now for this, my Aquariuses, but we do have Mercury retrograde. And if you are aware of this, it helps you to get through this. So, you know, again, there's that little bit of that worry. There's that gap. Again, don't. Okay, so guys, the best thing is to say is don't quit the job you have until you've got the next job all firmly tied up. Okay, not that it's going to go away because it will come. It's just I feel like there could be a gap between when you end your one job and when you start your next job. Okay, and you need a little bit of money to get through unless you've got savings. Okay, and that's where I'm kind of getting that retirement vibe from. So the four of Ariel is when you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change, extremes in how you save or spend money. So it... Um, you know, it, it's an interesting month for you, um, Pisces season. It's going to be kind of, it's going to be interesting. I do feel that Mercury retrograde, while it's getting things put into place, it's going to be kind of messier for you than you like, my Aquariuses. Um, again, you know, I feel like you're going to hear good news about jobs, about, you know, income coming in. I feel that this is really good stuff coming in. It's just that why is this delay here? I can't tell you that. Um, you know, maybe it's waiting for an um, airy season to begin. Again, if you're leaving a job, don't, don't, you know, just say, okay, I quit because I've got this, you know, make sure you have the start date so that you can give your end date because I feel like there's going to be a little bit of a lag between that. Now, maybe you're planning on that and you're going to enjoy it and you're going to do the rest and rejuvenation, may, you know, but if you are changing jobs, you know, just make sure you have the money to cover the gap, okay? But once you do, it works out really good. It does work out really good. We have a lot of uh, very positive stuff here. Okay, so my Aquariuses, if you enjoy my readings, please remember to like, 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 and subscribe. But as always, my Aquariuses, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.